The offense dragged a two-game funk to Denver in week seven. Yet the news was about to get worse. Now Mahomes, and that makes him nine for 10 in that category. I, I saw it right away. I mean, I saw uh, Schwartz, he came over and told me, he goes, his legs twisted around. And I, when I got out there, I saw the kneecap was twisted. And then you just hoped. I, you know, I've been in this long enough to, to have seen a couple of these, and you're hoping that there's no damage, right? You're crossing your fingers. Yeah, no, that was a called play, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was called. Probably shouldn't have called it, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I hadn't seen too many people get hurt on sneaks, but um, that one happened. It was a freak deal. He wanted the play. I'm putting it all on Pat, Doug, on it. He wanted the play. And Mahomes is injured as all of the Chiefs kingdom holds its breath. I'm certain if everybody was being honest with you in the back of their mind when it happens, we're all saying, OK, uh, it's time for us to strap it up. The defense was up to the task. On the second defensive snap after the Mahomes injury, Spag's unit came up big. Flacco, again, big pressure in his head. The ball's out. The ball is picked up by Raglan. Touchdown! Coming off the Texans game, we had decided that we needed to be not only more aggressive in the calling, but more aggressive in what we called and how we played. So we had gone into the game saying that we were gonna run quite a bit more of what we call linebacker plugs or blitzes and what we call overloaded blitzes. After losing the NFL MVP to injury, Steve Spagnuolo throwing everything he's got. We might have cranked it up a little bit when we knew Patrick wasn't going to be in there. And the sack parade continues. Nine sacks for Kansas City. Then we knew we were going to have to do it and possibly some other games going forward because Patrick was certainly going to be out. And now Matt Moore is in charge of the four and two Chiefs. Matt stepped in for a couple games and did a nice job for us. Working with Coach, we put together a game plan strictly for Matt, just in case, in case of emergency, let's break glass and get Matt rolling. The high school teacher and coach burns the Broncos with the 57-yard wheel to the cheetah. We, we still gonna put it up there now, and I'm a former running back coach, so you know coach has really turned my head inside and out. He's corrupted me in a sense. Now all running back coaches look at me like I'm the enemy now. <laughs> in two games before Mahomes' injury, Kansas City threw the ball 74 times. In the two games after, they threw it 71 times. And in a crucial Week 9 game against Minnesota, the backup QB led the offense on game tying and game winning drives. Late in that game, they hit us with a zero blitz. I do remember that. And I mean, they light Matt up. So we end up getting the ball back. And he hits Tyreek over the middle. Tyreek gets up, you know, splits it, gets the first down, which was huge. It was the same exact zero blitz that they had bought in the previous drive that they got in. There's where the blitzing burns you. This will be a 44-yarder to win it. Placement is down. Butker's kick is up. And the kick is good. He got it. Butker got it. 